Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Tim Liptrap and we are here in our finance class. We are looking at chapter four of our materials, long-term financial planning and growth. We are looking at an external financing problem set and I'd like to show you how this works. We have the XYZ company and the XYZ company's assets and costs are proportional to sales. Debt and equity are not. No dividends are paid. Next year's sales are projected to be 9968. And the question is, what is the external financing needed? What we want to do is we have the pro forma income statement already given to us, and we have the pro forma balance sheet already given to us. So let's take a quick look. So this is this is the material that's been given to us. And then what I did below was I created on the same spreadsheet just kind of a, another working pro forma income statement for the change and what it's going to look like. What I want to do first was I looked at what is the sales going to be 9968. Well we took that number and what I want to do is I want to get a percentage of the sales. So I subtracted the number from sales. So I took 9968 and I minus the current sales of 97600 7600 and I divided it by 7600 then by doing so what I was able to do I was able to get a percentage of 0.3115 and then rounded up that gave me a percentage essentially of a 31% increase so what I want to do is I want to show you how to complete this problem and we need to fill in the blocks so we know that our sales are going to be 9968 so I put 9968, and you can see how my equation is already set up. I put the sales number in, and it subtracts out the cost and gives me the net income. So then I want to say, all right, so I know my costs are there. What I want to do is I wanted to increase this number, the 4200, by the 31%, because it says company assets, assets and costs are proportional to sales. So I'm going to hit equal the old number times, which is the asterisk, one point, and I'm just going to stick with three, one, one. So now that gives me a cost number of five, five, zero, zero. Five, five, zero, six, sorry, two, two, zero, and a net income of four, four, one, six. So now I want to figure out what my assets are going to be. So assets are going to stay proportional to cost. So my assets are equal to the old assets times 1.311. So that's my total right there of 32,775. Then continuing on, the debt does not change, so it's going to stay the same. So I'm just going to have equal to this number right here. I'm just going to, I just hit an equal sign and made it equal. So my equity is kind of now a variable. What I need to do is I need to figure out what my equity. You know, this is, it says, if there are no dividends that are paid, and there are no dividends paid, as I said that, then the equity account will increase by the net income. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our net, our equity from year one, which is this number here, 14,190. Then I'm going to add it to the new amount of money that I earned this year or my net income. So I took the money that I essentially had in the bank or that I had the value of and added my new income to it. So my equity has now just changed to 18,000. $651.80. So I'm going to just very quickly just do this, make it equal. So now on my balance sheet, my assets are equal to 32775 but my debt and equity total is 29461 As you know, this side has to equal to this side. The assets has to equal to the liabilities and the equity. And there's a difference. So 
we just subtract this out because what we're looking to do is we're looking to find out what is the external financing that is needed to make this difference. We have to add some more money back in here to equity. So that number is this. It is equal to the total assets minus the total liabilities and my number for the EFN or external financing needed is $3,313.20. The best way to do this problem is to set it up on an Excel spreadsheet just like you see here. Work through the problems, work through the equations. It's relatively simple and all it is is what we call plug and play once you understand how this income statement in the balance sheet all work and the performance all work together on the Excel spreadsheet.